time to cruise. We are on I-95. We're leaving Fort Lauderdale and we're heading to Miami to board the Oasis of the Seas. It's the third sailing since she's had her royal amplification and we are super, super excited. This is the third time that we will be on the Oasis of the Seas. Um, it was actually our first cruise ever on our honeymoon about seven years ago, so we are super, super excited. Um, we stayed at the Best Western um, Fort Lauderdale I-95 Inn last night, so it um, wasn't the best hotel ever, but it definitely you know got the job done, and it was, it was just fine for what we needed it for. We come from the Orlando area, so we try to get kind of close to the port, so we spent the night there. Um, no complaints other than at five in the morning, a train went by like 20 feet outside our room and woke us up. And if I hadn't seen a train go by last night, I would have been like really scared. But um, other than that, we had a really good breakfast there. Um, checkout was easy, everyone was friendly. So I would, I would recommend the hotel. So right now we're heading to Premier Parking in Miami. So that's where we parked last time when we went on the Navigator of the Seas. That's where we're parking again. And right now it's 9.30, so we're trying to get there early, of course, as always. And um, board the ship as early as possible and we do know the ship last night did have a medical emergency so I don't have nearly any details on that but it did come in and dock about 7 p.m. last night and may or may not have gone back out um, you know so they could reopen the casinos and things because they had to, to close that since they were too close to land but um, we're certainly hoping that whoever had the emergency is doing well um, so we're getting very close. Once we get there, I can show you where we're parking and we'll uh, take a look at Terminal A. That's where we're going to be um, getting on the ship. So we'll see you real soon. Something's on fire. Oh my God. We're here at Premier Parking uh, in Miami, and when we came here the last time, there was like no line, we got right on, but right now we're kind of dealing with this line right here. And it was just a little bit after 10 o'clock, so it's probably gonna take a little bit before we are able to get on the shuttle and get over there, but we'll, we'll let you know what time we get there, so it's very soon. What ship are you on? That's it? checked in. It's just a little bit after 11 o'clock and we are about to get on the ship. We're just walking down the gangway here and just a second we'll be on. Watch your step. We're almost there. I can see it. Here we go. I'm going to flip you around so you can see. We're here. I'm gonna cry. 
We're heading to Valeros because that's where we always go to get our first drink. Valeros is right here. There's already people here. All right, it's 11.25 and we have our first drink here. I have a coconut mojito and Bill has the Havana special. I did write it down so we're actually keeping track of what we're drinking and how much it costs because we have the drink package. So um, at the end of this we'll make a video on whether or not we think the drink package is worth it, which we do, but uh, we'll kind of break it down for you. So here we are at Bolero's first drink. Cheers. We're having a tequila shot. Cheers. Build it all down the front of me. <laughs> Not an accident. It's okay. We have the drink package. It's all good. It's still recording, by the way. So it's one o'clock. We just came to our room, 8594. We have a little envelope here. There's our card. And it is Ooh. supposed to be an extra large 
balcony. Let's check out the balcony. It's pretty big. All right, so we just unpacked our carry-on stuff. I am making a video on the tour of our cabin and also how I'm unpacking everything. So make sure you ring the bell and subscribe so you can watch for that video as well. Um, but right now we just made some reservations for dinner. We're gonna do the chef's table tonight. We had to move around some of our other reservations we had for shows because we did have a show tonight that would have been at the same time as dinner. So we made some reservations. Um, we also made a reservation for Chops Grill that we're gonna have to actually go back and change because we realized that the menu that night we actually want to eat in the main dining room so we're about to go do that we're gonna walk around the ship a little bit more uh, probably have a few drinks before the mustard drill and then we'll go from there Central Park We are up on deck 16. We found one of these nice loungers. We're just kind of hanging out. And we just missed last call for alcohol because the mustard drill is coming up soon. So we we're going to get a drink, but that's okay. Um, been a busy day so far. We've changed our seating table because we had requested for a table for two, which we try to usually get. But they had us sitting with like six or eight other people. Not that we don't want to chat with others, but we just like it to be the two of us so we ended up changing our table it's actually a table for four but it will just be the two of us and we're only going to eat at the main dining room for about four nights we did book a chops grill um, tonight we are doing the chef's table so that is something we've never done before uh, and then also we are going to eat at the solarium bistro for dinner which is free but you just have to make reservations so we're going to do that one night as well so um, i'm going to show you our view here on deck 16 some slides and it looks like a storm is rolling in you could tell it was raining in the distance so it'll probably be raining during the mustard drill but we'll probably be inside this is what it looks like after the mustard drill everyone's trying to go up the stairs Hello there so it's almost five o'clock and uh, I have a time lapse going behind me we we're kind of like hanging out on the um, promenade and having a drink, so we missed like the first part of Sail Away, but we're just sailing out right now. Uh, we've had a lot of changes to our schedule today because we had booked the chef's table, as I mentioned uh, earlier, but I guess they couldn't get us in tonight, so they changed it till tomorrow. But tomorrow is uh, what I call fancy night, or you know, like dress your best or whatever. And um, we like the menu at the main dining room, so we decided just to cancel the chef's table and just kind of not worry about that. Um, so tonight we're going to try to get in maybe at 150 Central Park, so we'll have to keep you updated on that. But I've um, got the time lapse going behind me, so as soon as um, I'm done talking here, I will put that in so you can see um, Sail Away. There's not really a huge exciting um, scenery going by behind us right now. Um, we're on, I guess, the side of um, where the port is, so it's just 
not really a lot of exciting stuff back there, but just wanted to give you an update. We've changed our schedule around a whole bunch of times. We actually canceled the aqua show tonight because we thought we were going to um, the chef's table, but um, we'll maybe still try to go tonight. I'm not, not quite sure, but I guess um, we'll bring you along and you'll, you'll see what we're doing once we figure it out. We went to 150 Central Park for dinner, and if you order the specialty cocktail, they bring the cart right over to you and make it for you right in front of you. That was really cool. We highly recommend this restaurant. The food was really, really good. And after dinner, we saw the Aqua 80 show. That's at the After the Ship on the Boardwalk. That's their dive show. And the music was from the 80s. Now, I couldn't put their music in, so I did put some music over it, but I guess it just means you'll have to go check it out. So here's a couple clips from that show. All right, so I just want to do a little update. So for dinner, we ended up going to 150 Central Park. Now, we'd been there before on the Harmony of the Seas, so it's a really great restaurant. So we had a wonderful meal. We enjoyed everything we had, and I'm sure you probably already saw the pictures that I um, probably just put in for dinner. It was really hard to vlog or really kind of talk about the dinner while we were there, uh, but it was really, really good. So I definitely recommend if you're looking for kind of a quiet dinner to check out 150 Central Park. It was very nice. And then after that, we came back to the room. We changed into something a little more casual. And then we had the um, Aqua show. It's called Aqua 80, and it has all 80s music. So that was phenomenal. Um, the divers and the swimmers and dancers, they were amazing. It was a really, really great show. And that's why the Oasis class ships are my favorite because they have those dive shows and aqua shows that I just think are always amazing. But this, this show definitely was really awesome. So now we're just kind of winding down. We're sort of getting ready for bed, but there is a balloon drop at midnight. Um, so I'm sure we'll end the vlog with that. We'll, we'll kind of show you what that looks like. Um, but then we're going to wake up early tomorrow and, and work out and we have a sea day tomorrow. So um, enjoy the balloon drop and we will see you on day two.